beauty surge how are you guys okay my name is Ashley Courtney and I am a director on Team Beauty Surge and I am way super excited to chat with you guys today about something that I am super passionate about, which is storytelling. So I am just going to see, I'm going to just wait a few minutes see who's here so um, when you guys hop on say hello so I know who's here um, but anyway I want to get started I don't want to I want to respect your time I want to respect my time and make sure that I can get you guys in and out of here um, but like I said my name is Ashley and I'm a director and I want to talk to you about storytelling so in network marketing um, we're storytellers because the truth of the matter when it comes to people is human beings are rational, but we rationalize things, okay? So when someone wants to purchase something like new skincare or lipstick or something, some, they're going to rationalize it somehow in their mind um, to make it okay that they purchase whatever it is. So whether we're selling or wanting someone to grab new skincare or whatever, we have to have a story, especially when we're recruiting, we have to have a story that reaches out and kind of grabs them. And um, we can adapt that story um, to any of our audience, right? So facts tell and stories sell. In network marketing, we want to make, we're in the business of people and people buy from people they relate to. That's that's why we want to build rapport. That's why all of these things are important. That's why Ashley tells us to reach out to people and build relationships with people because people support their friends. And so it's important to relate to people. So when crafting a story that's yours, you want to talk about a few certain things. When like I'll go through mine. Hi. So I'll go through mine. I'm going to swipe the comments so I don't get distracted, just so you guys know. Um, you want to talk about who you are and where you've been, what's happened in your life, how you heard about Limelight by Outcome, and what's it doing for you now or what it's going to do for you, what your plans for your business are. And all of this should be done in a short amount of time. Think elevator speech, okay? Think if you had enough time to tell someone that you were sitting next to in an elevator like what you were doing and why you joined Limelight and you had 45 seconds. Say somebody was in an elevator with you and you think, um, and they say, like ask you a question like, oh, you know, what do you do for a living or whatever, you know, like some, this comes up somehow, okay, it's elevator speech. Think elevator speech. So my name is Ashley Courtney and I am, um, I'm not going to do a very good job right now, of course, but so my name is Ashley Cordy and I am a mom of four and I work really hard. I work a job that causes me to work 50 to 60 hours a week. Um, I've consistently done that and I've never even been able to go to one of my, to my daughters meet the teachers because I'm always working. So when I realized in life that I was having to um, miss out on a lot of things, I started looking for another way to make some extra income so that I could take some relief off of myself, work less hours, and eventually come home with my kids. So my friend Brooke actually introduced me to Limelight by Alcone, and um, at this point in time, I'm making enough to pay quite a few bills in my household, and I am my eyes are on the prize to come home from work eventually. So that would be kind of a variation of what I might say. Now when we're talking to someone about our story, we wanna hit all those important points, but we wanna make sure um, if you know the person, if it's a stranger, then you know, whatever. But if you know who you're talking to, like it's a stay at home mom, they probably wouldn't relate well to somebody that was working 60 hours a week because it's just not something they relate to. They now, being a stay-at-home mom, they're working 100,000 hours a week, right? But going and leaving the home to work isn't something that they would relate with. So those, you know, you can kind of say, but staying home with the kids, they would. So it's important to know who you're talking to and help who you're talking to. So people will make sure that they kind of they buy things off of emotion, they trust people off of emotion, and they build rapport. So we should also be really, it's also really important 
that we make sure and we talk to people about other people's stories too. So we should be collecting basically like a little library of, of stories, right? So we should be collecting stories. We should be doing, um, like I can, if I have a friend that is a stay at home mom, I am a working mom, then I know that my friend Brooke, Brooke Banks, I know that she was a stay at home mom. And I can kind of tell her my story and I can incorporate Brooke and I can say, you know what, my friend Brooke was a stay at home mom or is a stay at home mom, but she's been able, you know, to change her entire world, change her entire life. And she's wanting to build her dream house now. Um, and she's being able to bring all of that in while she's able to stay home with her kids because of limelight. And so collecting those stories is what you need to do. That way you're able to relate to a lot of other people. So I think it's important that we share as a group, um, kind of get to know each other and know because we're gonna build our library of stories. We should, we should know each other. We should know each other and we should be able to support one another and we should be able to support um, ourselves when we're having conversations with someone about becoming a customer or joining our business as a business partner. So stories are really short. So let's talk about really when we build uh, when we build it. So I told you it needs to say like who you are and where you've been. So you basically want to say that I've got my notes here, so I'm looking down. So you basically you basically are going to say something about you that makes you you. So for me, I am a mom of four. I'm a mom of four and I work a full-time demanding job, 50 to 60 hours a week. That's who you, that's who I am as a person. Um, and then you want to talk about what's happened in your life that made you look for something more. So I realized I was missing out on every single milestone in my daughter's life. Like I was not able to go to open houses. I was not able to go to meet the teachers. I was not able to do things like that. And that was killing me. And it was really hurting my daughter's feelings in the process. I mean, she was, she would look at me and say, Oh my gosh, mommy, are you going to be able to come tonight? Or are you going to be working? And when I knew when she'd say something like that to me, and I knew that, Oh, she knows I'm just going to have to work. Then I knew that I needed to find something more for myself. And so what happened, um, or how did you hear about the company? That's the next part of your story. And you want to say this, remember concisely, um, you would, if you can say something in 50 words, why would you use 100 is kind of the thing. You don't want to bore people. So how did you hear about the company and why did you have to be a part of it? So my friend Brooke introduced me to Limelight by Alcone. Um, we were both previously with a makeup company and um, the quality and the CEOs and everything that this company stood for really spoke to me and I just knew that I had to be a part of it. And that to me is amazing. So that's the third part of your story that you had to have. And then what it's doing for you and what it's going to do. It doesn't matter if you signed up yesterday or if you've been around the block with Limelight. You need to be able to have a vision for yourself. This is kind of where your why comes in and being able to touch on that to someone else when you're telling someone a story about why you join limelight or why you're doing network marketing in the first place because a lot of people don't understand that so what it's doing for you and what it's going to do for me okay so what it's doing for me right now is I'm able to pay a heck of a lot more bills um, and we're able to build our savings. Eventually my plan is to stop working that 50 to 60 hour job that I have to do all of the time and to come home full time with my kids so that I don't miss anything else. Um, I can be homeroom mom, I can do those types of things that I want to be able to do that I've never done before. So all the while being able to um, kind of create that and you know I can I know that I can do that it's been done I'm seeing it happening and I know that I can and I believe in myself so that's kind of how you want that to flow you want all of those pieces and all of those puzzles so the better we get at telling stories the better that things are going to be like the People are drawn to authenticity. So make it your own story, but you can craft it to where it, it makes sense for the person that you're talking to. 
you know so if the person that you're talking to doesn't have kids then she's not gonna relate at all to what I'm talking about I might I might say you know that I have four kids and I really just needed a lot more time I was tired of working all of the time and I might make it more about me coming home from work than about the kids just because I want to be able to relate um, but it's still your story so you want to be very authentic you want to be comfortable telling your story and you want to be comfortable sharing your teammates stories which is why it's so important and why I love limelight because we're so collaborative we're able to really chat with each other talk to each other get to know each other it's collaboration over competition which is amazing another reason why we're drawn here and I love that we're able to do this you know because this is good you're now you all know my story you have a story in your library because that's my story so now all of you have it so um, basically basically we want to make sure that people can relate to you that you're able to tell someone concisely and um, to the point why you are doing what you're doing with limelight and who you are because that is the first step so many people I hear all the time saying I don't know how to start a conversation I don't know how to bring it up well if somebody asks you who you are just tell them just tell them who you are and be honest about it and tell them um, you know why why you're doing what you're doing if somebody asks you why do you do this well this is why you know this is why and I think it's a good way to really get in there um, catch someone's attention because when you only give them 45 seconds it's like the movie trailer you don't want to show all the good parts in the movie trailer you want them to pay to see the movie so think of yourself as a movie trailer you want to give a trailer and then you want them to ask you a question because you want that open dialogue you want the dialogue to start so that you can build the relationships and so that you can gain a customer and maybe eventually a business partner so I hope that that is super helpful for you guys. I'm going to swipe now so that I can see comments. Hey, it is super important. It really is. Hey. So um, I am going to let you guys go so that you can watch the replay. I know there wasn't a lot of, this is kind of a strange time on Sunday. So, but please understand Brooke, I talked about you a lot, so <laughs> you'll be in here. So um, you guys make sure and build your stories up. Learn how to tell your story so that your friends and your family and people you've yet to meet, future friends and future family, so that they can relate to you and they understand um, why you're doing what you're doing and you can do it in a way that really piques their interest and starts that open dialogue with them. So thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any questions about building a story ever or crafting your story, please reach out to me. I am available to each and every one of you. It doesn't matter. Please, 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 please go ahead and...